We're Seth and Natalia. We bought Windrose, a 38-foot 1977 custom Ingrid Atkins sailboat in Hawaii. We're working hard to restore her in preparation to untie from this island and sail the world. We wanted less things and we wanted more memories. So we traded traditional living in order to live tiny, untethered, and on top of this beautiful ocean. We are excited to share our journey with you so you can see our world alongside us. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, we are in the process of restoring our sailboat that we live on full time and we are getting ready to get it ready to sail. So we're doing an engine conversion at the time um, being right now. So we're using our extra time to clean and maintain and get this boat back into its original beautiful 1977 shape. So today's project is going to be cleaning some of the metal and just some of the rust off of the metal as well as cleaning the deck and the hull. So to do that we got some things at Home Depot. We got this non-skid deck cleaner. We found that Home Depot has been a really great place to go to versus West Marine. We've got a hull cleaner and then we're going to be using this hybrid ceramic wax from Magours. It's wax as you rinse. So you pretty much clean the boat, spray this on, and then just like dry it in and it kind of rubs in. So we're gonna do that today. We're gonna clean it really well and get this boat in beautiful shape, sealed and ready to go. It's been one full week since we painted our boat and we are loving it even more, especially when you walk up to the boat. It's just so crisp, so clean, and the color is so unique. So we really love it. So this is the hull cleaner. It says it should get black spots up, rust, everything. And it's a gel cleaner, so you shouldn't actually even need to do scrubbing, but we're gonna do the extra step and do scrubbing. This is very therapeutic for me. One of my biggest pet peeves so far since getting the boat is having the beautiful white non-skid and then having dirt get in the cracks and every day especially because you're barefoot if it, the dew's out in the morning and you step on it it leaves like a footprint and it's just like Ugh. so this is very therapeutic <laughs> So the goal is to spray this on and then it'll sit and then we will wipe it. All right, everybody. So we are doing a project that I have been dreading for a really long time because we are changing the shaft seal. The reason we're changing this is it has a small drip, which is normal, but it has a little bit more of a drip. Is that how you would explain it? A little bit of a leak? So not that big of a deal if we were to go to haul out. However, since we're getting the electric engine and we're going to be putting batteries and everything in there, we have a like sealed non-drip or dripless shaft seal that we're putting on. We ordered this from West Marine. It's from the brand Packing Sealing System Shaft Seal, PSS Pro Shaft Seal. So this piece was like $500 and the big ticket project that we're doing right now is we have to take the old one off and put this on, but water's gonna come in the boat. So I'm a little nervous. <laughs> so we have the bilge open right here on the floor and I do have in case of emergency, the sink is right here. I have the cups right here and I'm just gonna do this with two cups or I am going to stick my hand in there and just like hold down the lever so it just continually drains. Um, nervous is an understatement. But are you nervous? Okay, he's not nervous so it must just be a me thing. Alright, which way do you want me to hand this to you? The part, that part goes on first and then this? I'm gonna need this after that. So this goes on first and then you want me to hand it to you this way? Does it matter which way? Are you sure? I mean, it's not, I already cut this thing, so. Alright. Okay, here we go. Okay. Here's this. Okay. I don't think that yet. Okay. Oh boy. Hold on, hand me that back. 
Okay, this one? No. I mean, it's coming in a little bit more quicker, but the water, because it's probably just left over from that. Okay, so that came out kind of a lot, but it wasn't like high PSI where it just shot out like a hose. No, and that's how much it's going to be. I knew it was going to be because I have this thing tight. Man, that really... Sure so what good. I need to do, I just kind of get this hose off. It was really tight on it, so I got to try to... What, this you part? Off. You couldn't get this off? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, the old one is really stuck on there. So you have to take that plug off. Less. Let me know if we need to take a break. Is Be that empty? Because of what? Yeah. It's pretty much empty. If it's getting full. Well, it won't get full. I won't let it get full. Well, if it can't keep up, oh, that's I... my only concern. Oh, that is a concern. That's a big concern. I didn't think of that concern. All right, here we go. We're committed. Are you ready? What do you mean we're committing? Well, we're going now. You can put it back in though, right? If you need to? Yep. I got it. I might just start filling these cups up this place. I'm not, that's not even going in the bilge. I'm just filling these cups up and I'm going to dump them in the sink. <laughs> oh, do you see it coming? Yeah, I can pour, I can just fill up these cups. It looks like Coca-Cola. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not keeping up. Well, it's hard. There is a lot. Okay. okay. Um, but it's okay. I'm doing two things at once. Right. Oh boy, it's coming out a lot. Huh? It sure is filling up. Are you like, what are you washing your hands? <laughs> Get to work there, buddy. Brother John. Well, that means every other time it's either going in the bilge or my cup. Oh, I should have done this first. Hold on. Never mind. Yeah, it's dry. This isn't filling up. Okay. Because every other time I'm doing it. Oh, I hope I'm not putting this on tight. Just... Sun up faster. But the bilge isn't filling up. The solo cup idea is great. Oh, just splashed bilge all over me. Alright, this is a mess. I'm showering later. We're doing good. I gotta do my cup method again. We're in a maintenance status. We're not filling up, but we're not going down. All right, I'm really glad we have this cup idea at the sink. This is why we talk and communicate <laughs> potential problems. Hey, we're seeing the bottom of the bilge over here. Huh? can see the bottom of the bilge. Oh, I just got some in my mouth. Yeah. We're going to have to do this again with the engine coming in. Looking forward to it. But at least it'll be on, so then we should just have to readjust. Okay. I think we got the right size. Wonderful. Took a little bit to get on. Less water's coming out now. Oh, wait. Okay. I'm bleeding all over this thing. What? I'm bleeding all over this thing. In what way? You cut yourself? Yep. Really? Oil to the cut. Need the next piece? Okay. Here. Give me that soap real quick. Okay. Just a little bit in my hands, fine. Okay. <laughs> How much longer are you thinking this is gonna be? Huh? How much longer are you thinking this is gonna be? I'm hoping that. I just gotta get this piece on. But don't worry, the bilge is running and it's at that, it's, it's staying at the, the lever. Huh? It's staying, it's running, but it's, we are not getting high at all. Alright, we're doing alright? We're doing good. It's because of these cups. Because every other cup is going in. Huh? 
Just don't worry about it. We're doing good. Man, if Hugate was here though, we would have him doing a couple and I'm not doing a couple, you know. <laughs> Oh, the flood. What? How are you doing? How are we It's definitely filling up. I can't see the bottom anymore, but it's just because it's coming out fast enough. Bigger bucket. Now I can pick up. This is what we needed. Whew. Oh, yeah. Is that good? Oh, yeah, or no? Whew. What's happening? All right. I need that hose that we got from, well, you know that hose Yeah, that, that clear one? The clear? The uh, small one. Okay, less water is coming out, so I can go get it. Well, hold on. Do yeah, you have it kind of plugged for the most part? Yeah, let me plug it, and then that's catch up. Okay, I could use a nice wash of my hands as well. This? Um... I don't think it's that one, I think it's the other one. Okay. What are you using to plug it? My finger. Really? Yeah, I'm like the boy with the wall. You know that story? No. Okay, I guess I think that might be too big. What? Remember how we bought two sizes that one day we went to Lowe's? Yep. I need the smaller one of the two. And I'm gonna need one of those rings to put it on, you know? Ugh. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, pierce this. Yeah. Why do we I need a hose? I don't get it. Oh, you got one? Yeah. Good size. Can you hold this for the time being? Up? Is yep. this going to take the water? Is this going to take it up above this or else water is going to flow through? All right. The tools? Gross! Oh, that'll make you throw up on a Tuesday. the shaft seal so with that being said we now just have to clean the engine room and paint it and if you see, saw our last video we painted the hull of our boat which means that we have extra paint um, actually we have both the good color magic lands and the smurf blue so we may do like blue just because it's gonna brighten it up anyways it's already dark in there so we just have to clean it prime it basically and get it ready so that when we get our electric motor and everything in the mail is just plug and play it's cleaned it's ready to go we plug it in which is really good because if we waited until haul out we'd be taking the current shaft seal that we previously had and it wouldn't be the current one the previous shaft seal that we had previously would be dripping like salt water into the engine room which what we don't really want obviously on any of our electronics and our lithium batteries it's definitely a project that people said and told us we may not want to do when the boat is still in the water we may want to wait till it's out but we felt like it was worth the risk to make sure that it could get done before we start sailing with the nice new motor and do it at haul out so because the haul out is going to be like six miles away so we got to sail there and we want to make sure that nothing gets on our nas new motor so thank you so much for watching if you haven't already subscribed please hit the subscribe bar down below and we'll see ya